As well here at the Shell Echo Marathon in Houston, and we were Professor Michael Warner from Granite Falls High School, which is in uh, Washington State, right? Correct. It's about one hour north of Seattle in a rural small town in the foothills. Yeah, uh, and you came a long way here for the, to Houston for the Shell Echo Marathon with the two special teams. Correct. It's 2,500 miles to drive here. We have one parent pulling the trailer with two cars. One is a prototype for the shop girls, the first all-girls team in the Shell Eco Marathon. The second one is the Urban Autos team. It's a co-ed team and we brought two cars. Okay. Uh, Professor Warren, explain a little bit about the program first, please. The Both at your school and here in Houston. Uh, the program started a little bit more than five years ago with a grant for women in non-traditional roles that my director knew about and I suggested that the girls uh, could design, build and compete in the Shell Eco Marathon which we started in uh, 2010. It's a one hour class after school for credit in manufacturing which I teach and it's a great way to apply what they learn in academia, math, science, history to some degree, arts, uh, to apply that in their products and then come here to Houston uh, uh, annually for the competition to see how good we really are. And uh, I think you did pretty well in the first few years you come here, right? We did. We won the category. The shop girls won the category in the diesel prototype. They won three years in a row the safety award. It's an off-track award. Top honors. A very high emphasis from Shell. Gold zero with accidents prevention. And the Urban Autos has gone from just participating because being overweight to setting an America's record, beating two uh, universities, uh, to again... So you're beating uh, universities and you're in high school? We are. <laughs> Pretty cool. We are. And there's no handicap yeah. between high schools and universities. And we've come here where nothing really worked and we placed second, we placed fourth, but nonetheless we've been very successful over these four years. Okay, so can you introduce me here? Okay, so <laughs> um, the shop girls team manager this year and last year, Denzel Green. Hi Denzel, how are you? I'm good today. Great, congratulations. Uh, first, the car looks pretty cool. I like the color first. That's the first thing I think attracts people, huh? Yeah, that's a, usually a, a thing that we uh, do to paint our cars. Uh, this year we had our car painted um, and the paint donated by a volunteer. Yeah, so tell me about it. You, see, you said you're the second year in this program, right? This is actually my third year third. in the program. Oh, you're the veteran. <laughs> so, this is my second year as team manager. Oh, okay. And uh, tell us about it. How did you get involved? How did do you all seem interested in these kind of things, mechanical engineering kind of things, or how, how did that happen? Well, uh, when I was in middle school, the first Shop Girls team had a mini eco car camp. I came to that camp, and when I came into high school, I started eco cars. Yeah. And um, what do you think you're going to get out of this? Not only like the experience here coming, like having fun, it's fun, but I mean, in the long term do you see that that benefit of, of participating in something like this? For participating in something like this usually it leads to a career. Um, I know most of our team members want to go into the engineering field such yeah. as I do. What about you? I want to go into astronautical engineering or design engineering. Wow so the cars is like the small stuff. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. And, uh, so tell us about your car for this year. So this year we built a more aerodynamic lightweight car. It's made out the body is made out of a fiberglass and it was used uh, molded um, from a mold on loan from the Western Washington University. Yeah. And uh, so the prototype category, what kind of engine and what kind of more specific uh, the mm. specs of the car can you tell us? Um, well, for our engine we have a Yanmar four and a half horsepower generator motor. Like, talk like more like people like me that know <laughs> much about it, please. <laughs> uh, well, it's um, a small lightweight engine that we can use to run um, a chain and sprocket system. Oh, okay. And and then like all the other parts, you build them, you put them together. How does that, yeah. that go? Yeah, the frame was actually built um, quite a few months ago, and we had to add structural support onto the bottom of it using a, a fiberglass honeycomb board. Yeah. 
and then you come here and uh, you you run and what kind of uh, pretty amazing numbers you get on uh, miles, yeah right? our last car got 520 miles what? to the gallon uh, say that slower please 520 <laughs> miles to the gallon that's amazing i mean uh, we talk about when like efficient cars yeah. get like 40 miles a gallon like diesels and some yeah. hybrids but that's a hundred times more yep and we've also, well, this year uh, we've only gotten run one run in so far, um, but our first run got us 413 miles per gallon. And how is that measured? Because you're not going uh, very fast. You're yeah. going in a, in a circuit outside here at the convention center. What so Shell measures it for us. They fill up our fuel tank. Um, we come into the fuel uh, system after we do 10 laps on the track, which equates to six miles. And then they measure it and and test the temperature and they're able to do the calculation for that. Excellent. And what's your uh, hope for the competition here this year? We're hoping to uh well, we're hoping to double we, our obviously. <laughs> double our uh, mileage double. Uh, from our last car as well as win the safety award. That's amazing. So, Professor uh, Warner, uh, so then when the girls got so successful at this, I guess the boys, fo the boys followed? Well, shortly thereafter, yeah, I think within three months, um, the interest was there and we were able to raise funding for an urban concept car that we barely got done. We had to finish here and with that we're overweight but Shell allowed us to come and participate to learn to see the event and then the following year we we build it into a competitive car. So the uh, the other category here at the Shell uh, Eco Marathon the, the prototypes and the urban concept car which uh, has requirements to seat at least two people pretty much look like more like a car that can be driven outside right? in, the, in the regular streets. Correct it, it does at this point it still does not have to be a two-seater but we built the first car and this brand new second car into a two-seater that allows us to give us rides to um, potential students, to elementary students, to raise the interest and to media like you got a ride today. And it has to have four wheels, full lighting, uh, blinkers, it has to be an enclosed car and um, yeah it is closer to what we would see in the future on so the road. So here we have the, one of the team leaders uh, for, the, for that car. Correct. We have Brady Tetrick here, and he is a second-year member on the Urban Autos team. Uh, Brady, thank congratulations for the car. You, we had the opportunity to ride along yeah. uh, for one of the tests. That's pretty cool. I mean, pretty amazing what you guys can do with uh, very little resources, but pretty much, huh? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we weren't. Our funding is almost none, and we were able to build that car with what little we had, and. I mean, it's doing pretty well for its first run ever. Can you tell us about it, please? Uh, it's it was uh, designed in as a one twelfth scale foam model in a, a little wind tunnel we have, and from there it got scaled up into a CAD drawing, and then the frame was built around around to fit inside that, and from there we ordered the aluminum and got it all welded up, and then got a uh, three millimeter Luan plywood and built the body out of that around a jig we had CNC cut out. So how did you learn to do these things? I mean, how old are you and how did you start like doing these kind of things? Uh, right now I'm 15 and well, I've I've worked on cars for a long time because I have an older no, not car. Not very long time, you're 15, well, come on. <laughs> quite a while. But uh, then I saw this program when I joined high school and I thought, well, that might be a really good opportunity to improve my skills in a lot of fields, so I joined. So I understand uh, that this is like an extra activity at school. It's not a regular class. You have to commit to weekends, to your like uh, holidays and, and to work extra, really, right? Yeah, every day after school and then over summer vacation and like our spring break, we were in the classroom every day working on the car almost over tw almost 12 almost 12 hours every day yeah and uh, also uh, what kind of benefit do you see long term uh, from these kind of activities uh, well I get a lot of knowledge from it as well as um, it looks really good when I try to go get a job or join a college and uh, what's uh, what your plans for that uh, I want to go to Western Washington University and get my engineering degree engineering and uh, so uh, you um, you learn about engineering, you learn about uh, mechanics and all that, but you also learn about the working team and like manage like the whole operation, really. Yeah. It's yeah. like a business. It's like running a business almost, right? Yeah, we, I mean, if everyone just acts as alone, that car would have never gotten built. Yeah. 
And uh, so what, what part do you enjoy most about it? Uh, I enjoy the machining part aspect of making all the little parts that without, without them, the car would not be where it is today. Uh, how big is your team? Our team is uh, roughly eight members. Okay. And uh, for, for kids or like people who are, have never participated in something like this, what would, would be your recommendation for them? Uh, just act as a team when you're here and just do your best and No, but have like fun. getting involved in this kind of thing, so it's worth it, like giving up oh. your vacation, your weekends, your holidays, like oh, yeah, it's giving up uh, going and playing with your friends and just... It's it's definitely worth it. I mean, it's a it's a lot of fun to build the cars and design them, and then to be able to come here and compete is just well worth it. Well, congratulations and uh, good luck with uh, the competition. And I uh, will see uh, what how many mileage is uh, is your car getting? Uh, the, we've only gotten one run, and that one run got us 178 miles per gallon. Excellent. Well, uh, good luck and uh, final competition tomorrow. Thank you. So, professor, again, like, this is like as we were telling to the both students, this is like a great experience for them. I mean, they're they're learning more than just like another class. Well, correct. I mean, it's it's all encompassing from from technical skills to life skills uh, that will be with them for for the rest of their lives. And that's something I hear from students that have graduated. It, it really set them apart. It opened eyes. It helped them decide which direction they want to go. And and Excellent. as long as I can, I will continue doing this. Can I get, uh, John, quickly a web page or somewhere where people can find more about you guys? Yes, I have a, a web page. It's live dot g falls dot wednet that's w e d n e t dot e d u slash eco teams or go on any search engines granite falls shop girls urban autos will lead you uh, that's where you can find us thank you very much for your time and congratulations to Denzel and Brady here thank Great. you thank you este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting